Hi, and welcome back to my journey. I'm four or five days in now to um, my from my last cut, my neck taper. Um, very tired today. Um, and I could list a whole bunch of other side effects. As I've said, I'm not going to. Um, I'm thinking about doing, maybe I will do a video of just all the side effects that every one of us that's, anyone that's viewing this um, would know of. Um, and then just finish it off with, it sucks. Because we know that. Where I want to go from there now with my channel and with what I want to teach for myself, if, if nobody else watches it but for me, is to what do I do now? I know it sucks. I got that. I've read stories. Actually, be, my own ego, because I started this channel now, I started doing more research and more whatever, and I started listening to people's stories, and I actually became very, very depressed. Um, very depressed. So what's the point of that? Um, I think we can all agree, once and for all, it sucks. But we're going to get better, and we're going to get through this. So the one thing I do want to talk about, aside from that, um, that I am doing better. Let, let, let's start there. I'm doing better this time around than I think than I was last time. Yes, I'm tired. Yes, I'm having um, withdrawal symptoms. Um, but my mindset is better. I've been keeping a more positive attitude. I've been seeing things and feel the feelings whatever is just feelings and this is going to pass just like i said the last time i'm at 34.5 milligrams of valium and everything that i'm feeling right now will be the last time i'll ever feel them at 34.5 milligrams of valium and i'm going to keep it at that the one thing i want to talk about though is tolerance withdrawal i'm going to reference people back again to w hyphen bad bad dot org and I know you may not be in a position or a place in your life, and I, I'm not actually from time. There's been times I've had to go away from it because there's some documentaries. There's one, and then there's a trailer for another of movies that may be coming out about benzodiazepine withdrawal and the effects thereof. Um, it goes into there's pamphlets that you can get to give to your doctor, to give to whatever. I just, it, it's a phenomenal resource. It's, it's over in the UK. You're being here in the States. It's something that I want to try to help to create here. Um, but tolerance withdrawal, it's something now, like I said, I, I started, I was on a Benz, I was first put on a Benz, I think when I was 16, I could go back and look, I was 16 or 17. I, I know I was on daily regimen of benzodiazepine when I graduated high school, so I would just turned 18 at that point, so I'm pretty sure I started it when I was 16. Um, I'm now 47. And the one thing that I'll, especially as a male, I never felt... Like I was strong enough. I had this father who was bigger than life. I have a, my last name's Terranova, and so he was an Italian and very, you know, bigger than life. And I always felt like I had to live up to that, which I think is pretty common just in our Western society anyway for all males. And I'm not discounting females because you're you're going to look at this in a completely different way. I'm just I can't speak to that because that's not my experience. But I never felt strong enough. I saw other people getting over it. I saw other people doing whatever. I saw all these things, you know, just take the medication that, you know, just this will work. And the word tolerance withdrawal isn't known by me. It wasn't known by me. It wasn't known by me up until maybe realistically, it really kind of sank in probably six to eight months ago. So do the math for how long that's taken. So every time I would go and see even my doctors, and again, I'm not going to play the blame game. I'm not going to go there. I think my doctors had my best interest at heart. Like I've said it before, I'll say it again. The pharmaceutical companies, different story. We can have, that can be a whole other topic if we want, and we can bitch and complain about that. Um, but again, I'm not sure where it's going to get us, except if we all come together. Then it may get us somewhere. Um, but just, anyway. My point of, bend, of tolerance withdrawal is you're taking the same amount of, and you may you were actually doing better. Because I'll admit, when I first started taking a benzene, it felt, felt pretty good. You know, felt like, oh, okay, this is it. This is that magic pill that we all look for. You know, and um, I was young and didn't know any better and whatever. But as things went along, and then I took more and I took more and I took more, and that particular doctor was giving me Xanax. What we now know, Xanax has a half-life of like nothing. So the rebound anxiety, which is what the new doctor that my mom found for me told me. 
the reason I was ended up being hospitalized is because of the medication I was on. Well, okay. Now we know this many years later, and actually they've been pre prescribing benzodiazepines for 50 years. So again, we can go back to the blame game, but I won't. Um, but I, I kept willing myself to take more of the benzodiazepine, to go through the benzy headaches, as they were called, and any other side effects that came along with you know going up on them, because it did, then it would subside, obviously, because now the tolerance withdrawal is, let's say you're at a milligram or a half a milligram or a quarter of a milligram, whatever it is of, let's say, clonopin, because that's one I'm familiar with because I took the longest. Um, all of a sudden, you, your anxiety gets worse. So you go into your doctor and they say, oh, well, your, your label, depression, anxiety, sleep, whatever they gave it to you for, um, is now worse. So we need to up the medication. They, don't, they didn't understand that tolerance withdrawal was a real thing, that you got to a certain point, and now your body will actually go into the same withdrawal that you do as you're coming off now, if that's what you're doing, um, as you do just taking the same amount of medication over and over for a long enough period. Everybody reaches tolerance withdrawal at different times, and maybe some don't at all. Um, again, this isn't medical advice. This is my experience. But what I do know is, as I look back over the 30 years plus, or almost, when that didn't work, if I took more and I was still in a bad place, well, then they introduced the SSRIs, antidepressants, um, or other psychotropic drugs. Um, that sometimes my body just completely said there's no way in hell. So thankfully, I, I didn't. some of them I didn't stay taking because I couldn't. And some of them, again, because I believed so much in what my doctors were telling me, and I didn't believe my own body. And, and I'm saying this to the people that are on it, that are, that are doing this now, and to people that are, if you have just anxiety and you're thinking about taking these medications, find a doctor who really knows about things like tolerance withdrawal and the effects that a benzodiazepine should be prescribed for no more than four weeks. And during that four weeks, part of that would be a taper. Um, otherwise, go to the website I just mentioned. I'll put it in the description and get yourself knowledge. Just know about it. So don't read the stories and whatever. Don't scare yourself. I mean, I go to the forums and they, they scare the shit out of you. Because yes, when I'm having a panic attack or if I'm in a really bad place and I got on, the, on this camera and I just started spilling everything that was going through my mind and through my head and through my body and whatever, hell, it scares me. And that's one of the things I think it's better this time is because I'm actually trying to stop that whether it be with different techniques and whatever, and that's something maybe I'll do. I mean, there's lots of them out there on YouTube, so I would be taking them from other people, but I've been using them, and they've been, I've been seeing how even with baby steps, they work. Anyway, I just, I just I, I want people to understand that just being on a, a dose of this medication for an extended period of time, some people less than others, you're going to experience withdrawal, which is going to be the exact same side effects you had for what you probably went on for in the first place, or worse, with anxiety and sleep disturbances and things that people, you know, would make you shudder. But you keep doing it. For over 20-some years, 25 years, I kept doing it. And I just, I want that to get out there. I want the education. So the one thing, the other thing I want from this video then is I want people to start commenting. We're hiding. I'm hiding. We're all hiding because we're embarrassed because there's not enough information out there. If we had cancer, we could talk about it. We would be open. There's millions of forums or millions of support groups because cancer is talked about. Whether it's being handled properly, for me, that's a different story. Again, that would be a whole other topic. But it's still accepted because it's talked about. Unless we do, no one's going to else is going to talk about this. Things like tolerance withdrawal to let people know that, hey, you're not getting worse. There's a very, very, very high probability. And again, I'm not a doctor or a scientist or whatever, but there's a high probability based on the science that has been done that you're just reacting to the poison that you're putting into your mouth. And I'm not, this is not me preaching to you, at you or to you. This is me saying that's what I did for my life. So it's not, you're not not strong enough. You're not weak in any way. In fact, you're stronger than most because you keep enduring and you keep pushing through. 
and you will and you're going to come out the other side because now we know what the answer to this is and that's get off and if there's some things that linger afterwards and we'll deal with those but the first thing right now is get off so and for the people coming behind us because there's a huge amount of people i mean fear and anxiety and what's going on in this world right now there is no there's no shortage of that there's no shortage of people who are working nine jobs just to try to stay ahead and whatever and can't sleep so they're going to be prescribed a benzodiazepine we need to get the word out it's up to each one of us who's watching this video and who's whatever that yes i know maybe you can't leave the house because i can't but i'm going to make these videos i'm going to the people that i know and love that actually are listening to me i'm going to print up as many of these flyers as i can and say here leave these just put these in places take them to my doctor i talked to her about it she's and she's open you may not be as fortunate but we're going to keep pushing it out there so that other people don't have to go through this and even when you so if you hand up one of those brochures or one of those pamphlets to your doctor and they completely blow you off that's okay because the seed was planted and we just keep planting seeds and if enough of us do that but i'm going to go back to the commenting comment ask your questions i've realized over the time and i'm not being whatever but i actually have a lifetime a very long time of experience with this now ask me a question i'm surprised sometimes at the answers i come up with when i when i talk to my doctor like i was there the other day and yesterday in fact and i we sat and we talked i, I actually get longer sessions with her because we you know we i think because she's learning from me um and me from her so and somebody along the line she had one you know one um patient who did come off a while ago so the seed for her was planted so that's our job now is to start planting seeds it's to start supporting documentaries and websites like the one that's up there and maybe create our own and to start talking to people and maybe if you're well enough start a support group and taking this real knowledge and getting it out there to people and saying it's not you're not weak it's not you know i'm one of those people that i started this because i had anxiety so the the thought of well you had anxiety that's why you started the pill so it's not the pill well that's true there was underlying issues and we can go through from anywhere from genetics but there's things that could be done about that from what i was eating which was sugar on top of sugar on top of sugar on top of sugar with a side of whatever and working full time in school and life sucked and whatever and thing and childhood uh, stuff that I went through that yeah I got to deal with that stuff but to add insult to injury and actually throw you know gasoline on the flame and to not tell somebody that to have them especially again I'm going to speak from a from a male perspective to sit there and think to yourself i'm not strong enough everyone else is but i'm not so it's one of the reasons i think my agoraphobia is as bad as it is, is because i'm so embarrassed people are embarrassed to comment but we need to start asking each other how did you get through this let's not make this a a, a wine fest just these are the symptoms i'm having what do you do about them or this is my story or i have a question um whatever that question is um because when you if when you ask it if you ha or if just you have something to say put it in the comments if you have something to say there's somebody out there that needs to hear this and there's one thing i realized about this little needle in the haystack that i'm creating is there are people that are looking at it and i'm sure they're reading the comments so let's all join together no this isn't a big site share others if you find them i'm not being again i'm not being self-serving but let's let's get the truth out there is out there now and when i said critical mass before what i was really meaning is critical mass as far as people having anxiety and being on these medications i mean we're there we've been there but critical mass critical mass as far as like the ashton protocol and whatever and people doing follow up you know other scientists and doctors you know using those and looking at them around the world and going yeah this is real so the education is there now the 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 work's being done finally so we can stand up and we can take re you know, responsibility for all of this and and for ourselves and it'll give you a sense of purpose i promise because it does has for me and say your intolerance withdrawal there's a good chance check that out look that up you know do whatever don't scare yourself on these forums by listening to people's what they're going through because you already know what that's like and if you don't and if you're just having anxiety and you came across this video then if you're not on the on a benzodiazepine or any of the psychotropic drugs do more research 
Again, I'm not a doctor. Talk to your doctor. Ask your doctor what they know about it. But don't go blindly into it. I didn't mean to go blindly into it. I was. Um, I, and I did, I, th I did what I thought I was right. I, I listened to the doctor. And I found a doctor who, if I gave you his credentials, he was beyond the moon, stars, and whatever. And he was amazing. And to the, to the extent that he knew how to manipulate the medications to make somebody feel just that little bit better, he was, fan he was brilliant. But now I'm still here doing this video. So God bless him. And I mean that. I know he meant, I know he was doing the best he could. But let's start engaging with each other. We don't have to be embarrassed by somebody. I mean, if, some, if you have this, you can leave me a comment. If you leave this, you can leave a comment that I can't answer. Maybe, or I'll try to find the answer for you, but somebody else will, which then I'll learn. I had somebody that just commented and said thank you to me. And that's not what I'm looking for. But I'm saying how it made me feel. I've seen other comments and posts and other things where you learn things, little tips and tricks, and you use them and you go, oh, that made my day just this much better or sometimes this much better. And I realize if I keep doing that one little thing, then it's going to get, but, and we're all looking for that, that, that pill, but that's what got us here. Most anybody watching this is probably the, the, the magic pill is what got you here. So now let's start doing the little things. And I think that's coming together in solidarity and, and just making, putting in comments, liking the video, sharing it with people. And again, it doesn't have to be mine. Find somebody else who you really resonate with that really gives a positive spin on this to the extent that this can be spun positively. But I think that's where we're at now. It has to be. We've done it the other way. We've, we've, we've beat it into the ground and how shitty it is and how the pharmaceutical companies and the doctors and they don't care and it's all about the money. And I get that. But it doesn't make us better. I'm having palpitations doing this video. I said I wouldn't talk about uh, <coughs> side effects. Anyway, love and light to every one of you. I understand how hard this is. I do. But let's all start taking the bull by the horns and let's start just engaging with each other and exchanging ideas and exchanging just... I write and just, I'm having a bad day today. We'll encourage each other. It's an online support group. It, it can't be much more uh, anonymous. If, you're not, if you don't want to use the YouTube account that you're listening to right now, create a new one with a fake name and whatever. But just put your story out there. Ask your questions, if nothing else. So that other people that are thinking like, when I thought this whole, for 30 years, I was thinking I wasn't strong enough and I wasn't whatever, when really it was just the poison I was putting in my body. Which tells me I'm actually stronger than I ever thought I was. And so are you. That's all I have. I don't want to keep this long. It's already too long. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of my journey. Love and light to every one of you. God bless you and I will... See you again. Thanks.